We want to take pictures. Take pictures. The referee, Jen Kim, is a doctor. A surgeon, in fact. Okay, gentlemen, we went through the rules downstairs. You guys obey the rules. Shake hands, good luck. Shake hands, good luck. No, no stare down. They're ready for business. Well, here we are. Alan, there should be some fight. Certainly should. Jerry Corey thinks this first round could be decisive. I think this first round is going to dictate the what's going to happen in the entire fight. I look for Duran to try to crowd Cuevas, take away that uh, reach advantage of six inches. Let's see what happens the first time uh, Cuevas nails him with a left hook if he does. This first round is going to be, again, feel him out round. Duran is a good boxer, always has been a good boxer, and that's exactly what he should do with Cuevas. I think he thinks better than Pepino in there. Pepino uh, most definitely a slugger. The feeling out process here early in round one. Duran with the jab. Believe me, Duran respects that power of his, no question about it. Cuevas is wild with the left, but landed some punches inside. Duran complained a bit, thought he was hit on the back of the head, back of the neck. I think he was holding the back of the neck while he was banging there. Duran trying to keep him off with the jab. Good right hand by Duran. I don't think Duran has near the punching power at this weight that he did as a lightweight. And I think Cuevas very definitely hits harder than Duran. Cuevas going to the body and upstairs. Cuevas landing. I wonder what Duran will do if he gets hit with that left hook. I want to see how he responds to it. That could tell the story of this fight yes. midway in round one. Cuevas going to that body. He may feel that Duran isn't in the best of shape, but he's a little flabby in the midsection. Everybody talks about Cuevas and the hook to the chin, but he's been going to the body. Duran with the jab. Chance to Mexico. He's banging nice, nice left hooks to the body. He's trying to take it out of Duran that way. Duran respecting Cuevas' punching power, working from a distance with the jab. Again, I thought he'd crowd him a little more. Referee Jin Kim separating the fighters. Cuevas mm. landing left, missing with the right. And downstairs he goes again. Each looking for an opening. Duran sticking the left and following with a good right hand. And Cuevas ties him up. Good right hand by Duran. Did looked, not stagger Cuevas. It, it looked pretty, but it wasn't uh, that effective to punch. Cuevas again going downstairs. The end of round one, and they're punching after the bell. Duran turns around. All Duran did was throw the jab out a few times. He landed one good right hand, but uh, I see uh, Cuevas really controlling that round. Went to the body effectively. Excellent. Well, there's Duran with a jab and uh, coming over with the right hand. That was the right we talked about. Yeah, Landed pretty squarely, but didn't really do but that much no, damage. No, no power behind it. That's a, one of the key questions here. At 152, uh, what kind of power does Duran have left against a legitimate uh, welterweight uh, going on to a junior uh, middleweight? Well, uh, Alan, the order that uh, Cuevas got in his corner is to work. Don't be scared and get inside and work to the body. I think Duran will have to open it up to. Uh, hey, I need to put it to win this fight. He will have to open it up with Cuevas. He's going to have to take a chance. Remember when Duran was scoring on those knockouts, he was knocking out 135 pounders. That's right. Your general rule: when you move up in weight, you lose some of that punching power, or at least the effect of your punches isn't as, as great. 
First of all, you've got a, big, a much bigger man taking it, too. Certainly we saw that in evidence against Kirkman Lane when uh, Duran fought as a junior middleweight. Junior middleweight limit 154, he's in at 152. Cuevas is really banging hard with that body. To that body with that left hook. He seems fearless here. I don't think he thinks Duran can hurt him. Oh, good right for Duran. First exchange of the fight, good one. What do you think, a slugging match, you'd think Cuevas would have the advantage. I, I tend to agree with you, I think he would because of his power. Especially with Duran at 152, his power is not evident at that weight. Looking at him, pretty good jab, Roberto. A, a low blow by Roberto Duran. Left, right by Duran. His hands look pretty quick, though. He, ha he has quick hands, he's always had quick hands. It surprised everybody his hand speed in the first Leonard fight. It was as quick as Leonard's. Oh, good left to the body by Cuevas again. And those will take it out of Duran. He's 30 years old. Oh, Cuevas oh, got it. Yeah, but he took it. Brisk exchange, and referee Jen Kin separates the fighters. Action stepping up here in round two. Cuevas in the red, Duran in the white. Cuevas looks pretty sharp for a guy who's been off 15 months. Yes, he does. He's right now, he's controlling the fight, too. Good body shots. Those will take their toll later, too. Bruising exchanges inside. End of round two. Take a peek in here. Take a look at some of these uh, body shots. The most effective punches thus far have been uh, the ribs and the liver. There we go. Good exchange of left hands. And Cuevas follows up with another left. Duran comes back with a left. Well, the order for Duran was to take it easy. Don't get excited. Just do whatever you know how to do it and do it well. Keep away from, from uh, Pipino. Tried to box it, and uh, the, the, they ordered him to close his mouth. He said, "You are up, you are fighting with your open, with your mouth open, uh, and that will be a big trouble for you." Yeah, yeah. well, it's an easy way to break your jaw if you get nailed there with your mouth open. Duran lunged there with the right hand. That could be a troubled spot for him if uh, Cuevas chooses to counter with the left. How do you have the fight scored, Jerry? I gave both uh, the first and second rounds to Cuevas. And if Duran continues to let him dictate the pace of this fight, Duran's going for a long night. Well, there's some good jabbing by Roberto. Moving nicely and flicking the jab. Duran relying on the jab and then uh, the left hook to the body. He's not throwing enough of those left jabs. He needs to put some more hands together. Really surprised that Cuevas has concentrated uh, so much on the body here. He's known for those hooks to the jaw. That's where his knockouts have come. Remember, 10 knockouts and 11 welterweight title defenses. He can whack. Cuevas holding with the left and hitting with the right. Cuevas is just dictating the, the fight. Getting his rhythm here. Huh? Durant counter with the right. Got hit a good little hook by Durant. They're going at it. This is the slugfest people thought it might turn into. Good right by Durant. Roberto good caught right him on. It, it, it did not hurt Quaver. It spun him, but perhaps he was yes, off it balance. Did. He was off balance. Durant smiling as if to say you're not hurting me. Maybe it is hurting him. Maybe he's trying to psych out Cuevas. Pepino landing with the left. Oh, good right hand by Durant. 
Good right by Cuevas. And a good right by Cuevas. They're going at it here in round three. They don't look like two washed up guys, do they? No, they don't. That's, that's funny. That's why I said this fight would be good uh, if it were five years from now. Yeah. Well, there are a couple of hungry fighters looking uh, for another shot at the title. A lot of pride involved here, too. Yeah. End of round three. Good round. Best round of the fight. I thought so. Get Cuevas out of there, but who knows. Round four. Duran in the white, Cuevas in the red. A good one from the sports arena. Getting better. It, it, it expected to be a good one, didn't it? Sure did. I have the, the, the fight right now, uh, two rounds to one for Cuevas, actually. 10-9 in all the rounds. 10-9 for Cuevas in the first two, and 10-9 for Duran in the last one. Duran, a relatively short arm, but sticking out that jab. He's... It's not been an effective jab, though, Alan. It's uh, not, not landing on Cuevas, and it's certainly not keeping keeping Cuevas off of her. On the other hand, Cuevas by nature is not a good jab, and he gets hit yeah, right, right. by right hand by Duran. I don't think it hurt that guy. I think it caught him at the end of the punch. I don't think there was any power left in it. Well, Cuevas didn't head back to the ropes. Now he's fighting off him. Oh, he's oh, right. right. oh, 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 out on his feet. He's down in the corner. They're going to count. Cuevas in bad shape here in round four. Roberto Duran will go in for the kill. Here comes Duran. With Let's a see if he can him. A minute and 40 seconds left. Cuevas holding on. Duran trying to finish it here in round four. Begging Cuevas against the right. Duran with a right. Cuevas trying to counter. Looks like a beaten fighter, though. Sagging against the ropes. Duran throwing everything from all angles. Cuevas ties him up. Well, Durant proved he can, he can hurt guys at this weight, too. He hit him a beautiful right hand and really stunned Cuevas. Cuevas hasn't recovered from it. His no, legs are bad. Durant going in for the kill. Right hands to the body and the head. Cuevas gamely battling back, but there doesn't seem to be any power there. It almost looks like the Cuevas of the hurt is by the right hand. Cuevas right seems hand. to be out on his feet. Referee Kim separating that. Maybe no, I thought it might be it, but Duran's going after him again. Cuevas against the ropes, down for the second time in the round. Cuevas a beaten fighter. Mouthpiece stuck out. It's doubtful if he's going to beat the count here in round four. He might get up, but there's four. Gets up. Luffy Sanchez says no. Luffy Sanchez called it off just like he did in the Tommy Ernst fight. And Roberto Duran is the winner in round four. I, I agree with the decision of the corner. That's what Lupe did in the Hearns fight. He stopped the fight. Cuevas had beaten the count by one, but obviously a beaten fighter. Duran, a good right hand, set it all up, went to the kill. Roberto Duran back in the title picture again. In fact, he will be fighting Davey Moore for the junior middleweight championship. Pandemonium in the ring. Louis Moreno going in. We'll try to bring Roberto over for the interview. Here comes the announcement by Jimmy Lennon. We'll get the official time. Well, now another scuffle breaking out here. <laughs> uh, Roberto jumping up and down. He's in ecstasy. Jerry, we were surprised by his punching power. Uh, deservedly, deservedly so. He should be excited. He did a good job. He landed a beautiful right hand. Found out he can punch it that way, too. There, there it is, that right hand. One punch. Beautiful shot. Too. Duran following up, but it was clearly that right hand that got Cuevas in all kinds of trouble. Down he goes, and that is him. Okay, Cuevas against the ropes. Duran with an uppercut down to the body, making every punch count. Some missing, but Cuevas down, and uh, he did beat the count, but there was no sense for this one to go on. Lupe Sanchez wave the white towel of surrender. Uh, Louis Moreno will try to bring the winner over. Naturally, Duran is uh, ecstatic in there. He trained hard, it showed. Cuevas, I thought, fight, fought a pretty smart fight. I think he held himself quite well. It, they're both champions. They proved it in there today. There's, we're trying to get the official announcement by Jimmy Lennon. 
as Roberto Duran is jumping up and, and down. gentlemen, in the midst of Bedlam announcing the time in round number four, two minutes, 24 seconds. Referee James Jenkin in charge, upon advice from the corner of... Yo me siento muy contento. Yo te dije que yo estaba entrenando para pelear los 15 asaltos con Pipino. Dame que te doy. Por eso yo estaba confiado que no era Pipino. Por muy fuerte que él sea, yo también estoy fuerte. Ok, Roberto. Roberto, miremos el replay del, del local. Él me estaba pegando un en la cabeza y a los pies. Pero bueno, estamos, estamos acá.